Well, definitely. I think, uh, uh, for example, uh, William H. Johnson and um, Aaron Douglas, Hale Woodruff, and a few of the other artists who came and saw what was going on um, in Europe and saw the influence of it. For example, William H. Johnson, when he came, he was so excited about what he saw, it was hard for him to decide which direction to go. He saw Kokoschka. <laughs> he, he saw so many other influences. Um, he, he saw Soutin and, and others. And so for a long time, he was kind of modeling his style after several different artists. But eventually, he decided to settle in and uh, create what he referred to as a form of primitivism. Now, we, we, we have questions about our artists using that term because it's pejorative in the sense of European artists use it, uh, well, let's say uh, European and American artists very often use it to degrade or to say it is not of the high order. Uh, whereas if one is talking about the primordial, the very first, the classum, I mean, the premier classum, I mean, that's the first order of things and so forth. But anyway, Aaron Douglas, however, uh, was very much informed by aspects of cubism, especially synthetic cubism. But he took it and made it a, a kind of a flat style of uh, what you might call hard edge painting long before the American painters like Gene Davis and, 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 and Kenneth Nolan and others were doing that kind of thing. Douglas had already seen it and he did it in the murals in Harlem and in other such places. So these artists though having a sense of being informed by European art uh, very much uh, felt that this was an addition to their own artistry. But for the most part, they were still looking at what was going on in America. Their themes were African-American themes. They were the black church, black music, black dance, and sources that were within their own community. <laughs>